For our 72 volt batteries for the N series and Segway E series, we have a few variations available. We have a 72 volt 70 ampere, 100 ampere, now the 20 ampere, and a 150 you can get around 2 kilometers per 1 ampere. So for this 150 ampere battery, you should be able to get around 300 kilometers of range. There's also a uh, 350 ampere BMS, continuous current BMS, so that can pull about a 10,000 watt motor with no problem, which will allow for a lot of speed, like I'd say around 150 kilometers an hour. But uh, the benefit of having this large battery is that you get a lot more performance, but also you get a lot more range. So it's very convenient. You can maybe charge it every two weeks, depending on how much you drive. Now for installation of this battery for the 72 volt 70 ampere, you can just take out the battery compartment and put the new battery in. But for the larger models like 72 volt 100 ampere and 120 and 150, you need to replace the battery trunk for a larger one like this one in the video. This can either be done by welding it or we also now have a non-welding du dual battery box where you can put the battery box in using screws in order to secure the battery box. This will then allow you to have more space underneath to put a larger battery like this one. Once you have the battery fitted in, on the battery itself, there's a cable with black and red. This one needs to be connected onto the black and red sides of your controller. There's also a communication model, and this one you have to stick into the original scooter charging plug, which is found in the trunk of your scooter. If you have any other scooter models like the Segway E-Series, then you can also message us because we will also have corresponding batteries available.